Hello everyone and welcome to the new video. So here is a question from Jerry Beam 101. Can you make a video on how to dual boot it with Windows? Well, yes I can and without further ado, let me switch to my laptop over here. So the first thing you will want to do in Windows and this is the easiest way um, that I know of. Um, let's go ahead and uh, managing disk drives. So this is in Croatian, but you will have the same option just in your language or maybe English. So here you can see that we have two disks. So you can freely ignore the second one. This is my USB stick from which we are going to install Debian. If you haven't inserted your Debian installer just yet, then most likely you're going to have just your system disk. And in most cases, Windows just has an FE partition, uh, which is used for booting and a C partition, which is for everything else. Uh, if you have more, then just adapt to your particular scenario. So the, the thing that you will want to do first is shrink your partition. Uh, I believe it's called shrink in English uh, and give it a moment until it calculates uh, how much space is it possible to free up. So by default, it is going to offer you uh, to free up uh, most of your hard drive, but maybe you want to halve it to have two equal halves, or maybe you want to give more to Windows and less to Linux because you just want to uh, tinker around with Linux. So let's pretend that we want to just tinker with Debian for now and use Windows as our primary operating system. Uh, so here it will tell you how much free space um, it will free up for your Debian installation. Okay, let's type 50 gigabytes roughly here and it will tell you how big your Windows partition is going to be after shrinking. So basically we are giving 50 gigs uh, to our Debian installation. Uh, wait it out a little bit until shrinking process is done and voila, uh, we now have 48 gigs uh, point 83 uh, available for our Debian installation. So you can just close this window here and you can restart your system Okay, uh, at this point you should be sticking in your Debian installer media, your USB stick and press the button uh, on your keyboard to launch the chooser uh, to, to what do you want to boot, right? On Lenovo systems it's usually F12, on um, some other systems it might be F1, F2 or whatever, you know. Uh, pick your USB stick here, in my boot menu it's the last one called Buffalo USB stick and boot from there. Okay, uh, you can go with graphical installer, with uh, textual, text, text installer. <laughs> um, I prefer text installer, usually I use the expert installer but this is fine. Um, pick your language, your country, uh, your keyboard layout. And then you're going to get to the network uh, configuration. If you choose wireless, it will ask you uh, for your Wi-Fi password. Uh, if you have Ethernet connection, just choose that one. Uh, that is going to be a little bit faster. Then you're going to choose the name of your operating system. You can leave it at Debian. If you want to, you can name it uh, cat, dog, uh, whatever you like. Domain name is irrelevant at this point. Uh, root password, I would recommend you to just press enter here in order to not give uh, root password a possibility to log in directly. And this is when you're going to get the opportunity to use sudo as a little bit more secure way uh, to do administrative tasks. Full name for the new user, uh, Linux Renaissance. Your username is going to be Dart and your password for your new user, type it one more time 
and then choose your time zone so that your clock is going to be correct. And then uh, the default option that Debian is going to select is the use the largest continuous free space. And this is precisely what you need to choose because uh, a moment ago you have actually provided uh, this largest continuous free space for a Debian installation. So just click that and choose all files in one partition, which is recommended for new users and some advanced users. Uh, this is going to show you what it is going to do to your system. Uh, usually you can just press finish, but before pressing finish, just make sure that your windows here so these are the first few partitions. You, you will recognize them by Microsoft saying, uh, just do not allow the letter F to be uh, written here. F means format, format means delete everything. So the system is going to format your new ESP partition uh, for booting Linux, your extended four partition for your Linux uh, file system, which is 50 gigabytes, as you can see, uh, and your swap uh, partition. Uh, if you are going to be needing more swap partition, uh, I will be making a slightly more detailed video uh, about how to do that, but for now you can just skip this and leave it uh, as the default. Finish. Do you want to write changes to disk? Once again, we are checking which partitions are about to be formatted. This is fine. Though I would recommend making a full backup of everything that is important for you uh, re in regards to your data on Windows because you never know uh, when you might slip and press the wrong key or something like that. Uh, I do not believe that uh, Debian installer has any bugs that will delete anything uh, for you, but just as an extra precaution, making a good backup um, beyond your computer, like on external hard drives and stuff like that, is always an excellent idea and most welcome. Please do that. Please make backups. Okay, Debian Archive Mirror Country. So here you definitely want to select your country because this will make installing new software and software updates much faster simply because of the geographical um, uh, physics, you know. Uh, Debian Archive Mirror, select any one in your country. The first one is just fine. Uh, usually you don't need proxy. If you need proxy at this point, you will probably uh, be aware of that. Do you wish to participate in package usage survey? This is uh, anonymous sending of what you are installing on Debian. Uh, so Debian can put more effort into maintaining these packages above you know, pr priorities, you know, uh, you can just press now at this point, but if you are uh, feeling generous, press yes and uh, share what you're using with Debian. Uh, by default, Debian is going to select GNOME. Uh, my personal advice, if you are a Windows user, is to deselect the first two options and go with KDE Plasma, uh, but GNOME is also, also an excellent choice. It kind of reminds a little bit more about Mac OS, GNOME that is. So if you want a little bit more Mac OS uh, feel, just go ahead with GNOME. It's also an excellent uh, choice. SSH server, uh, you don't need this and it will slow down your boot for, I don't know, one second. Um, but this could be a great option to have if something goes wrong with your computer, you may be able to uh, remotely log in uh, from another computer to your computer and fix things. But since you're a beginner, most likely you will not use this for now. Uh, standard system utilities is a good thing to have, so leave that selected. Also, if you want to choose one of the pre-selected packages of software such as um, children's software, astronomy maybe, um, uh, games, uh, this is not Steam, mind you, this is just Debian free software games, stuff like that, you may want to press uh, um, space here and choose some of the packages that will dump a lot of software on you. 
which you may want to explore. Uh, in my case, I will just not use that. Let's just fast forward uh, until this is installed. Here we go, installation complete. Uh, you can just press continue to um, clean up some stuff and reboot. And there we go, laptop booting from scratch. Let's go ahead and boot into Linux. Uh, in order to boot into Linux, uh, well, you don't really have to do anything in a couple of seconds. It will time out and it will automatically boot into Linux. Okay, first time login, type your password and you will be greeted with a KDE welcome application, which will tell you a little bit about KDE. Okay, there we go. And we are finished. Now let me reboot for you. Shut down, restart, good. Restart now. I just want to demonstrate that Windows is still here and fully operational. I have now rebooted the computer. And when you are greeted with the boot menu, just go down and select Windows. There we go. Windows has now booted and you are good to go. Thank you very much for watching this particular video. I hope you have enjoyed everything that I have shown so far. I hope you have enjoyed uh, my um, Debian install party that we did yesterday. Yes, we did. It was very, very nice. Uh, quite a lot of people joined. Um, well, if you need any more hints about how to use Debian 13, let me know in the comments down below. I will do uh, whatever I can to fulfill any of the wishes. Uh, thank you very much for liking, subscribing and ringing that bell. I'm going to see you in the next video.